children my name is monika and i am your science teacher i am going to explain the topic one in science the name of the chapter is plants on earth plants on earth, earth. before going to the topic i would like to explain about earth See, as we know that we all live on a earth. It is a planet. We call it as a home planet. Earth is a. It is a home planet. Why we are calling it as a home planet? Because we all are living on a planet called Earth. So, and it is the third planet. It is the third planet from the from the sun in solar system. In solar system, Earth is a third planet, and it is a fifth largest planet also. Earth is a fifth largest planet. So, Earth it is a home planet. Why we are calling it as a home planet? Because we all are living on a planet called Earth, and it is the third planet from the solar system, and it is fifth largest planet also. Now we are going to learn about the surface of the Earth. Earth surface is made up of. Earth surface is made up of land and water. See, the surface of the earth is made up of land and water. Now we are going to learn about land. See, as we all know that land is a wide area. Land is a wide area. It is a wide area. Okay. So, earth, earth surface is made up of land and water. And you all know that land is a wide area which consists of which consists of many places. Which consists of many places like which consists of many. places like first one is mountains mountains valleys plains deserts and sandy beaches So as we all know that earth surface is made up of land and water. So land is a wide area which consists of many places like mountains, valleys, plains, desert, sandy beaches, etc. And this earth is covered with 21%. Okay. 21% of land. The earth consists of 21% of land. Now we are going to learn about water. Water. So, as we all know that, as we all know that rain is a main source of water. Rain is a main source of water. rain is a main source of water and this water is present in the form of the water is present in the form of in the 
oceans seas and streams we all know that rain is the main source of water and this water is present in different forms like rivers lakes ponds ocean seas and streams okay the large part the largest part the largest part of land land so the largest land part of earth is covered with water is covered with water the largest part of earth is covered with water is how much 79% in the form of in the form of water or frozen water so people used to call this earth as a blue planet so we call it as a so we call it as a blue planet so firstly we call earth as a home planet because we live on a planet called earth so and the earth surface is made up of land and water land is consisting of 21% whereas water is consisting of 79% we can get water in different forms like rivers lakes ponds oceans seas and streams okay not only this uh, water we can get land in the form of mountains valleys plains sandy beaches deserts and etc now we are going into the topic now we are going into the topic for plants plants can we live without plants no we cannot live without no we cannot live without plants okay plants are also nothing but living things plants are also called plants are also called living things see in the world we have more than 3 lakhs 90000 plants so plants on the earth how many plants we have on the earth we have 3 lakhs 90000 plants on the earth so these plants are very useful for us to give us many basic needs okay we can get different things we can get many things we can get many things from plants from plants the very first basic need is food vegetables medicines wood paper gum flowers and etc we can get many things from this plants okay plants are also called as living things we all know that these plants are nothing but living things and on the earth we have 3 lakhs 90000 plants on the earth without plants we cannot get survive and we can get many things from plants like food the very first basic need is food vegetables medicines wood paper gum flowers etc so coming to the next one is plants give us oxygen what are the plants will give plants give us oxygen plants give us oxygen plants give us oxygen which all the human beings human beings and animals and animals need to be need to breathe see plants give out oxygen which all the human beings and animals need to breathe and these plants release and all these plants all these plants observe carbon dioxide 
which is given by which is given by all the human beings and animals all the human beings and animals so there is an interaction between the animals human beings and plants why because this plants will give oxygen this plants will give out oxygen which is absorbed by human beings which is absorbed by human beings and animals need to breathe all these plants absorb carbon dioxide which is given by all the human sorry all the human h u m a n all the human beings and animals okay my children have you understood so these plants are going to give out oxygen which is absorbed by human beings and animals and animals and uh, human beings will give out carbon dioxide which is absorbed by plants so now we are going to learn where we can see the plants now we are going to learn about where we can see the plants we can see the plant you can see the plant plants almost everywhere on earth almost everywhere on the earth we can see different kinds of plants almost everywhere on the earth so let me explain about types of types of plants let me explain about types of plants the first one is trees t r e e s trees second one is herbs h e r b s herbs third one is shrubs s h r u b s shrubs fourth one is climbers c l i m b e r s climbers fifth one creepers c r e e p e r s creepers okay these are the different types of plants we can see on the earth first one is trees second one herbs third one shrubs 